So this is what it actually looked like when we were shooting. We were sitting in a parking lot, doing nothing, hanging out of cars with leaf blowers and green screens. First thing I did when I got in the post was I cut Ben out and then used that to get my camera track so I didn't have the variable of Ben's movement affecting the camera track. Then I used Primac here to key out the green, literally hitting the auto button and then fine tuning the foreground and background. And then because my green screen only took up a certain amount of the background, I had to manually mask and roto out everything that wasn't green screen in the background. So then for my background, I just took a picture of the ground, brought it in After Effects and applied a motion tile. So then I could keyframe the tile center so that it was flying through the screen. And then with motion blur, it looks super convincing. So I brought that in to my camera track shot, added some dust, uh, and I had this. Then I added some really super quick and dirty shadows to the bottom. And then I applied camera shake to give it much more of a realistic feel. Then I used Colorista to get a much more limited and controlled color palette. Using the hue controls in Colorista, I dragged the blue and the green towards cyan and the yellow and red toward orange and desaturated the purples. And that gave me a much more specific color palette. I also, you know, warmed up the midtones and kind of blew the shadows up to contrast, turned the midtones down a little bit and had my grade. Then the last thing I did was I actually turned it upside down, which I think created a much more disorienting shot. For a lot of these shots, Dave Altizer is off screen holding a leaf blower pointing at Ben. So for this shot, we obviously have a uh, camera track I had to do, uh, and I was able to kind of find the ground plane much easier, dropped in my ground background, and then did some roto and masking work. And then I added some shadows, which really sealed the thing all together, added some dust, and there's my shot. Then I added my camera shake, and then I added the grade, and then I used Overlight from Red Giant Universe uh, to create a very subtle flare uh, going on. A very realistic looking flare too. I love this plugin. It's fantastic. Just applied that underneath the grade. And then, so I have this shot. I did a camera track and then I wanted to dissolve and found this really great stock shot. Flipped it uh, and then dropped it into my already camera track scene as a 3D layer. Then I rotored out the foreground layer. Then I erased that little wheel underneath the car. Then I added some shadows. And then I took a picture of my sunglasses and just did some masking work around it to cut them out, and then used RG Shadow from Red Giant Warp to create a shadow underneath the sunglasses and drop that into the scene. Then I added my camera shake, added the grade, added overlight, and ended up with a final result that looked way better than it should have. So naturally, by this point, I'm starting to get cocky. Nice day for a drop. 